Wrestling and welcome to the Raw Review for Remember, Remember, the 5th of November. Bonfire night. Mm -hmm. uh, the show starts with all of the roster on the ramp and security in front of the stage. You didn't quite understand why, why all the roster was out. No, I don't know why they're all out. Baron Corbin comes out. The UK crowd is booing and cheering along mm -hmm. for who they need to be, which I thought was great. Um, you said that you thought they were quite quiet. But yeah, I thought they were quite quiet. I, I didn't really get that impression. I saw some other people saying that as well. Yeah, I just thought they were a bit quiet. Normally a bit better. Hmm. Interesting. Drew got a massive cheer. Yeah, everyone likes Drew. Sort of fairly hometown-ish yeah. boy. Um, Survivor Series is the only time a year where Smackdown goes head-to-head -head with Raw. No, it's not. <laughs> they literally just done it in the yeah. World Cup, and then yeah. previously to that, if you remember last year when uh, they, they do it in like Money in the Bank, and they do it in like that World Cup thing. They do it in everything. Do you remember they? when it was? When was it? Was it just after WrestleMania when they didn't have a clue what to do, and then Samoa Joe was facing Roman, and oh yeah, yeah. So yeah, it was weird. Bollocks. Uh, Drew Ziggler and. Braun Strowman are announced as the first male members of Team Raw. Yeah, and Drew and Ziggler did a little step forward on the stage. And get I thought it was interesting because obviously they just teamed and then Braun and Drew have got a little bit of animosity. Yeah. Alexa Bliss comes out. She's in a little suit. She's the captain of the women's team, right? Yeah, captain. But she's not wrestling, she's just captain in them. So that's what I wanted to ask you. She, she's not wrestling. Yeah, she's not wrestling, she's just... Captain, she's like coach. manager. Yeah. yeah. Is she still can't wrestle? I didn't pick up on that when they did this. Yeah, no, she's just captain manager. Um, so she still can't wrestle. This was funny because they, they kept being like loads of interruptions throughout this. Angle yeah. comes out. Kurt wants to take on Corbin for the captainship of the Rawls team. Corbin cuts Angle's music. This was really funny with yeah. the crowd. They started, they kept doing yeah, it, but they were doing a new suck like chat. Yeah. yeah. That was great. Uh, then Braun walks out, he interrupts, his, uh, interrupts Alexa and he kicks one of the security oh, guards' yeah, chest out of his back. Awful, didn't it? Oh my god! He absolutely murdered them. Didn't he? He must have winded that guy. I know, he proper like, smashed him with that kick. Jesus! Was mental. I, he actually kicked his chest through his back, oh, I thought. That's crazy. He didn't have fly, did he? he um, Corbin runs away, there's a big brawl on the ramp. I guess that's, this is why the roster was there, I didn't really understand yeah, that. Yeah, that was weird. The bro they were all holding back Braun to begin with, and then they all started fighting, and yeah. it made no sense. I didn't, like, what? I didn't get it. No, I didn't get it. it um, Cole said superstars instead yeah. of superstars. That was funny. Uh, then they show Old Trafford, and like half the crowd boos. Yeah. And I put, like, because it it'd probably be Man City fans, but then I thought it won't be. It'll just be people from all over the UK, because, like, yeah. these are the only shows that get taped in the UK, so. Yeah, People they were only there this week, weren't they? Manchester and... Mm. Did we so, Manchester both nights? Yeah. yeah. So, yeah, there was like a big boo. So it, it, I, I thought it'd be like City yeah. fans, but actually, no, it'll be just Probably people from, from yeah. all over, yeah. Because uh, the same thing happened later on when they showed the Eddie Hart. Yeah. Then we get a, a rematch of the uh, triple threat women's tag thing from Evolution, yeah, which is the second week we've had a rematch of it. Second match, yeah. Third match we've seen in like two weeks. Um, but it was pretty awful. Natty's wearing her dad's sunglasses. Yeah, why is she all of a sudden wearing them now? Makes no sense. Renee says that Corbin should get the tube to London. It's not quite how the tube works. <laughs> <I don't right? laughs> uh, yeah, then this match starts. Natty gets sharpshooting really early. Didn't do a lot for me this match to be honest. Pretty bad. Uh, Natty was in for like large parts of it. Yeah. Uh, I knew you would switch off immediately because yeah. it was a, a triple threat. Another uh, match. Uh, three, three, three yeah. women tag. Um, yeah, I'm not a big Natty fan to be honest. Mm, no, me neither. Can't get into her. Uh, you know when she's in the matches and stuff, she just doesn't do it for me. She's kind of like a hangover from. The previous era, I guess, and yeah. I don't know. I just want to see like Bailey and Sasha rather than that. Yeah. Um, she locks in a sharpshooter on Sarah Logan. Uh, Ruby Wright decides to snap her dad's sunglasses. Uh, Natty's dad's sunglasses. Yeah. Natty breaks down. 
stop drooling all over her face. That was the worst fake cry ever, by the way. It was awful. Absolutely. Just slobbering all over her face. Oh, <laughs> then the match just ended. Like, yeah, there was nothing not, happened. It was no the rest didn't come out. It was just like, yeah, you know what? I'm done. Just yeah, it was weird. Just went. Went. So the crowd started doing his job for him. Yeah. They, they started. This is why I thought the crowd was really It's good fun. when they got to 10 and then they went ding, ding, yeah, ding. Yeah, it was funny. And yeah, the match just ended. It was really it bizarre. It was like a really bad ending. It was awful. Braun is backstage, he's hunting Corbin. Oh yeah, I like this Braun bit. Kicks in a toilet stall. Yeah. <laughs> there's a guy in there. <laughs> he runs out, that was funny. Uh, then we get Jinder and Apollo. But another, like, why? And it was a two minute match and Apollo won. Like, Jinder's a former WWE champ. That was good, wasn't it, when they made when oh, they yeah. put that on him? He's back to getting like... Well, it's a year, a year since Styles won the title off him, weren't it, in Manchester? But he's back to being squash. I know. Was, the, the, the Why did they decide to do that? Because they don't have these Indian shows anymore. So. Well, yeah. Seth comes out, he gets a loud burn it down, I thought, from the UK yeah. fans. Do you, do you think it was loud? Yeah. Uh, he has all three belts with him. Yeah, which was cool. funny. Right? He said about, um, I was planning on having uh, the World Cup as well, despite how stupid this looks. Yeah. Um, gives a really good promo, yeah. I thought. Did you? Yeah. I enjoyed this a bit, like better bits of Yeah. He said bollocks. Yeah, was what did he say? So, oh, as you say, Manchester bollocks. He hasn't got the bollocks. Yeah. I was like, bloody hell, saying bollocks. Yeah. Uh, he says he can't defend the titles alone. Yeah, well, he, say, he says he can't defend two belts at once. So he was about to vacate, was yeah. what I took from that. Yeah, and then Corbin went, oh, well, actually, you will defend two ben- belts at once mm. when you defend both tag team things. Against? Against the AOP, my boys. Jesus Christ, imagine that. My boys. He actually, uh, Seth got like a lot, a of, lot offense of offense. In. Yeah, made him look really strong, but in the end, the numbers caught up with him. He nearly had his head taken off with a vicious yeah. clothesline early on. To do that clothesline, it's really good. Mm. Um, yeah, he, got, he managed to turn it around with like suicide dives and stuff like that. Uh, there's a bit where Drake, uh, Maverick, distracts the ref. AOP managed to take over. But Seth managed to fight back again with a super kick and a frog splash. Got a really close na- uh, near fall. Um, Razor, Paul on Seth, just about through the ring. He yeah. was, was big. It was um, funny because Cole kept getting it wrong way around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He kept going, oh, Razor's in the ring. Was, oh, yeah, well, no, it's the other one. Ra- I think Jacob. Like, I think Razor's got his side shaved. Yeah. They're not quite, they do look the, similar yeah. for not being like, related. Uh-huh. Um, yeah, uh, then basically just finishes with AOP, just destroying Seth yeah. and New Tag Champs. Not the way I would have liked them to have won it, No, but, um, but we, we did want them to get there. So. Yeah, hopefully now they, they just keep getting pushed. Yeah. And it was confirmed that they'll fight the bar. Right, yeah. Um, at thingy. Survivor what? Series. Survivor Series, yeah. Dean comes out to pick the bones. He says, so you want to know the reason why I did what I did, but then he doesn't give us the reason. I hate when they do this yeah. shit. Another dirty deeds ban. That were good dirty deeds. Yeah. Um, and then but like, off. yeah. My my thing here is like, do they have a reason? Have they, have they thought this through? Maybe they're just trying to put it off so they can get a reason. I'm still not fully on board with it. Mm. Um, they ask Renee about Dean again, which is like, I wish you'd just stop doing this shit. Yeah. It's like, she's like, oh, I I don't know. He may be my husband, but I don't know what's going on through his head. It's like, come on, stop uh, asking yeah. it. No, no one can get through to him at the minute. Yeah. Like, oh, God. It's just awkward. I know. Um, Charlie Caruso is with Baron Corbin as he's hiding. Yeah, so earlier in the night we see Baron Corbin hiding in like a utility area. <coughs> and they get him to barricade the door up, don't they? And then the next thing, she's doing an interview, like... <laughs> That's what I've put here. Yeah. Oh, how did Charlie <laughs> manage to do that? <laughs> how uh, did she get in and how did she find him? I'm sure they don't think something's through. Oh, no. Uh, Braun obviously turns up. One of the security well, it's, guards... It's funny because um, Corbin goes, Hold on, you're, broadca- you're broadcasting this or something, didn't they? And I then so, yeah. literally as soon as he said that, Braun knocked on the door. I, was like, oh, I don't think he'd have found you that quickly. <laughs> 
one of the security guards that's with Corbin like grabs <laughs> all of his legs. He's just dragging him along. <laughs> that was really funny. Uh, it is stupid these bits, but they are quite. I love Braun. Yeah. I think Braun's just so good. He's, he's good when he does these over yeah. the top bits, isn't it? Yeah, that's it. Like they, they're stupid, well, like, but like you manage to get away with them because he's Braun. Yeah. Uh, Dolph does a promo. Says Shane isn't the best in the world. Elias interrupts him. The yeah. crowd start chanting um, Oh Walk with Elias to Seven yeah. Nation Army. So Elias starts playing Seven Nation Army. Yeah. <laughs> that was a good little bit of. Because now he is, it's, been, it's confirmed his face. Yeah, definitely. He's not slagging the crowds off anymore, so I've got what I wanted. Yeah. Uh, it says that Oasis will reunite if he plays a song. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, that got a bit of a cheer as well. Uh, match made during the commercial. 10 minute match this went quite long. I didn't think it was a great match. I no. think it was a lot of rest holds. Yeah, it was, wasn't it? Yeah, a uh, lot of rest it, holds. Because I, I, I thought, God, this has gone long. And then I looked and I was like, 10 minutes. 10 minutes is quite long for Raw, like in the middle of the, yeah. of the show. But it did feel longer than that. Mm. Anyway, Elias gets a win off the drift away. He's picking up wins now. Yeah, good win for him. Um, there was, the crowd was singing loads of songs for Elias during this match as well. I think that's like when, football yeah, chants. I think that's when the crowd peaked and then after that it just it ended really. They didn't really do much after that, I don't think. Mm, they, yeah, this was certainly the, the peak yeah. of, of the crowd. This was another a decent segment in the show. Uh, yeah, they showed the Etihad and um, yeah, the crowd booze. So again. it's like, again, like I said, I think it was people just from all over the UK. Yeah. Because, you know, passionate about our football slash soccer. Mm. Uh, Ronda out for a promo. Is this what you mean? This was a, a decent part of the show. Or did you mean the previous no, bit? The previous bit. Um, she says Becky's cute for thinking she can beat her with a disarmer. Disarm her, to yeah. say it properly. She says she's the baddest bitch on the planet. And I was like, whoa. <laughs> so we got bollocks and we got bitch. Bollocks and bitches. Naya arrives uh, before Ronda leaves. She says she's going she's gonna to be waiting yeah. for her. Well, she did like a weird sort of face promo, yeah. like. Yeah, yeah, she was fully face here, wasn't yeah, she? Yeah, and then Ember comes out and they have a match. Mm-hmm. Not um, a very long match, though. No, we got a little bit of girl up stuff before this when WWE's new partnership. Yeah. Um, yeah, Ember, Ember got quite a lot of offense in there, I thought, mm-hmm. uh, but then Nia obviously started just throwing her off, like yeah. pins and stuff. Hits her with a Samoa drop. Samoa drop and, and, and wins, a win, yeah. It? And then, then it, what I said last week happened. Yeah, you I, did, did, I was going to say when I watched it, I was like, you predicted this. You said the team up, because I thought they'd go against each other. Mm-hmm. They teamed up, didn't they? Yeah, Tamina comes down. They have a little uh, little stare-off like they did last week. Yeah, Tamina but, hits a few moves, and then now you go, turn her over! Yeah, she bossed, uh, Tamina puts, her in a boss, uh, puts Ember in a Boston Crab and then Naya starts elbow dropping elbow her. Elbow dropping her, yeah. So he'll turn from Naya, mm-hmm. and she's teaming with Tamina, which... Do you think Nia is like the new big shot? Just what, keep, flipping? Yeah. Yeah, maybe. How, how many times has she gone from face to heel? From yeah, face a couple to of heel. times. She's a better heel. Three, three or four times in the last yeah, two years. She's yeah, a, I think she's a lot better heel than face. Oh, yeah, massively, yeah. So, um, key for that. But, yeah, so that's going to be a dominant force. Yeah. And, again, is it going to be a tag team? Are they gearing towards a women's tag? Because there's a few tag teams building now. Yeah, there is. Anyway... Bala says uh, backstage at Manchester is Bala Club tonight. Oh, yeah. Uh, I didn't think much of this match. Charlie finds Corbin again. He's about to leave. And he says Kurt will now face Drew because he was supposed to be facing each other. Yeah. He was supposed to be facing each other. Yeah, yeah. And then he drives off. Basically, yeah. ducks out of the match. Yeah. Braun just misses him. He does his funny run. <laughs> Did you watch that though? They didn't time it right, so Braun had to slow, slow down. They had to yeah. stop running. <laughs> <laughs> Um, then we get Bobby and Leo in the ring. Bobby starts showing his ass to the crowd. Yeah, he meant to be showing. He was like, "Oh yeah, glutes or something." It's supposed to be his favorite pose. Yeah, it's really weird. <laughs> Stupid. Yeah, it was proper weird. Like, <laughs> like the crowd was like, "What's he doing?" Like why? It who, was like just bending yeah. over. It was like, who thinks like? Who thinks? Oh, this would be a great moment. Like the crowd will love seeing weird. his bum. It was just so weird. Um, Bala goes for Leo Rush uh, during the matches is, yeah. uh, to avoid a repeat of last time. But in doing so, he actually causes the same thing yeah. to happen. So, yeah, um, Bobby wins. Um, yeah. Following this, Drew comes out. 
and there's Bobby to have a go. He's like squaring up to him, he's like, oh, go on, have a go. Yeah, Drew was class, I thought, yeah. these bits. Um, but Leo like tells Bobby, like, no, no we don't want that. Yeah. Um, Drew, this was weird. Yeah. Drew helps Balor up to his feet. Yeah. So he's like, wait, that's face, but yeah. then, then he hits him with the Claymore. This is a good little I love the Claymore, by the way. So it's so great, good. isn't it? I remember when you were saying about it being like a good move, and I was like, yeah, yeah, it's pretty good. Like, like every time he does it now, it seems like he's getting better and better. I know, it looks so good. And it sounds great as well because of that yeah. slapping on yeah. his leg. Then uh, on to the main event of the evening, which was Angle versus uh, Drew. Yeah. For a place? In, no, for the captain's captain so seat. Kurt had to win for the captain's seat. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, yeah, Angle tried to jump Drew before the bell. Yeah. Uh, Drew got a big, like, Glasgow kiss. Mm. Headbutt in. Um, I thought this was alright, this match. Yeah, it was alright. It wasn't very long. No, but then I suppose it doesn't need to be for Angle. Anymore, no, true. Hits an angle slam near the ring edge. Uh, Drew managed to roll out. Good bit of ring awareness, mm-hmm. as they say. Uh, angle hits three Germans. Goes for another angle slam. Drew evades, hits a claymore. Doesn't pin though. No. I was like, what's he doing? Just sits and watches yeah. him until he gets back up. He tries winding Kurt up. Keeps saying about, like, oh, take my leg, take my leg. Kept, kept offering his leg up. Angle gets the angle lock in. Yeah. Drew manages to get out, hits an angle slam of his own. Yeah. Uh, and then he does his own ankle lock on Kurt and makes him tap. Yeah, it was that is surprising, isn't it? Yeah. The position they're putting. Not because normally, like, the heels sometimes do another finisher, but they never win off it. But to do his angle tap and make him tap out as well, mm. it's like. I thought it was a little strange. Yeah. Maybe the I actually didn't Kurt. think that Kurt was going to win as well. I thought Kurt was going to win, yeah, but oh, they're pushing Drew a bit, aren't they? Yeah. Well, it's good. I like Drew. I really like we, Drew. We, we just assumed that Braun was going to win and he was going to be Braun. And yeah. Drew. Like, well, why aren't they doing oh, that? Yeah. But they're well, obviously positioning Drew to, to, to move on now from this yeah. particular thing. It's good for Drew, though. Um, I'd like to see him. He's good, isn't he? I'd like to see him maybe like up the Intercontinental for a bit. First. Yeah. Maybe win that. And he, then if he win if he holds that and then I have absolutely no doubt that they'll do him versus Ziggler, which they just seem to like doing friendship yeah. splits. So maybe Ziggler could win the IC by Yeah. But I'd like to see him maybe have the IC feud a bit more, let Braun have the Universal because I think he deserves it. Mm. Um, I'd like to see that in the future though. Yeah, then see that yeah, maybe down the line somewhere. So raw rating for this week, Adam. Um I don't think it was a bad show, but I don't think it was a great show. I'm just gonna give it a I give it a six point five. Oh you're going with point fives, I don't like that. I have to, I have to commit. Yeah. I enjoyed it. Seven out of ten mm. for me. I I thought it was a good show. There's one of the better roles uh in recent memory. Well as bad as some of them that would yeah. think. Okay. That's the Raw replay. Uh, join us for our SmackDown synopsis, which will be going up uh, tomorrow after this one has uh, gone up. Uh, make sure to subscribe and you'll see all the notifications for our videos. We'll see you then.